Wisteria Cottage, by Robert M. Coates explores the dark and destructive side of obsession, delving into the psyche of a man whose internal turmoil leads to catastrophic consequences. The novel follows the story of Richard Bory, a man with a seemingly ordinary life but whose inner world is increasingly detached from reality. Bory becomes fixated on Winifred Fraser, a young woman he barely knows, and his obsession quickly spirals out of control, leading to a tragic and inevitable climax. Coates presents Bory as a character whose loneliness and alienation fuel his obsessive tendencies. Bory's life is marked by a lack of meaningful connections, and this void drives him to construct a fantasy around Winifred. His perception of her is not based on who she truly is but rather on an idealized version that exists solely in his mind. This distortion of reality highlights the dangers of unfulfilled desires and the peril of allowing one's imagination to replace genuine human interaction. The setting of the novel, Wisteria Cottage, plays a crucial role in amplifying the psychological tension. The cottage, meant to be a place of tranquility and escape, becomes a prison of Bori's own making. The isolation of the cottage mirrors Bori's isolation from society and his descent into madness. As the narrative progresses, the cottage transforms from a serene retreat into a claustrophobic space where Bori's delusions fester and grow. Coates uses the setting to emphasize the theme of entrapment, both physical and mental, that Bori experiences. Coates's portrayal of Bori's mental state is subtle yet powerful. The narrative does not explicitly detail Bori's thoughts but instead reveals his descent through his actions and the increasingly tense atmosphere. This approach allows readers to piece together the extent of Bori's obsession, making the story's progression feel both inevitable and terrifying. The psychological realism in Coates's writing adds depth to Bori's character, making his eventual breakdown both believable and tragic. The other characters in the novel, particularly Winifred and her family, serve as contrasts to Bori's distorted reality. They are depicted as normal, functioning individuals who are unaware of the darkness lurking within Bori. Winifred, in particular, is portrayed as an innocent young woman, oblivious to the fact that she has become the object of Bori's dangerous fixation. This contrast heightens the sense of impending doom, as the reader becomes aware of the gulf between Bori's perception and the reality experienced by those around him. The novel explores the theme of powerlessness, both in Bori's inability to control his obsession and in the helplessness of Winifred and her family as they become ensnared in his delusional world. Bori's actions are driven by a need to assert control over something in his life, yet this desire for control only leads to greater chaos and destruction. Coates suggests that Bori's obsession is not just with Winifred but with the idea of power itself, power over another person, power to shape his own reality. However, this quest for power ultimately leads to his undoing. The tragedy of Wisteria Cottage lies in its exploration of the fragility of the human mind and the ease with which it can be led astray by unchecked desires. Coates crafts a narrative that is both a psychological study and a cautionary tale about the dangers of allowing fantasy to override reality. The novel's tension builds steadily, leading to a conclusion that is as inevitable as it is devastating. Through the character of Richard Bory, Coates examines the dark side of human nature, where obsession, loneliness, and the desire for control converge in a tragic and horrifying outcome. The novel serves as a reminder of the destructive power of the mind when it becomes untethered from reality and the consequences of allowing one's inner demons to dictate one's actions.